Death Stranding new character reveal still mother, maybe the boss from Metal Gear series. Especially if the connected universe theory is true, with Death Stranding being Silent Hills, since PT is the game which bridges the gap between Metal Gear Solid V and Silent Hill. These clips explain how bridge babies work, in relation to a still mother reveal startling connections. Are themes being reused or is Hideo Kojima hinting at a more sinister nature to Death Stranding? Let's look at the following clips and see how this could work. Dead man, you there? Little help? Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to his mother's womb. Mother? Located in the capital not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, you mean still mother. Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Not City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress level. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. Try adjusting the acid dosage dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Just as invisible ultraviolet radiation scorched my skin, heavy particle radiation from space would cause irreparable harm to human tissue. In a word, she was expendable. It was during the boss's pre-flight checkup that I noticed something strange on the X-ray of her skull. Part of the right hemisphere of her brain was damaged. It seemed inexplicable, given her keen intelligence and amazing physical prowess, but there it was, and I decided to report it. I hoped that perhaps my discovery of a physical defect would result in the flight being cancelled. But as I went to make my report, she stopped me. Why, I demanded. How can you let yourself be their guinea pig? Ignoring my protests, she took me up to the roof of the lab. The night sky was ablaze with stars. It was there that I learned how she had wounded her head. 1943, Los Alamos. She was serving with the Special Forces when she received new orders. 
A German spy had infiltrated the Manhattan Project, which aimed to build the world's first atomic bomb. She was to eliminate him. His name was John von Neumann, a mathematician with superhuman computational abilities and the designer of the explosive lens. The Manhattan Project was a top national priority, security accordingly tight. The guards couldn't be allowed to know what was going on. She'd have to slip past them and make the death look like an accident. It should have been an easy enough mission. But just before the operation, she received unexpected news. A new life was growing inside her. She was overcome with joy. And for one brief moment, it clouded her judgment. She accidentally got into a shootout with the guards and without thinking, protected her belly. She was shot in the head. The bullet only grazed the surface of her brain, but the tissue around the wound was destroyed leaving her in a coma. She wasn't given much chance of recovery, but three months later, she woke up. Within six, she was able to move around as if nothing had happened. It was functional compensation. The other parts of her brain took over for the part that was lost. It made logical sense, but such a full recovery was nothing short of a miracle. Perhaps her superhuman willpower made it possible. Or perhaps, perhaps my body knew it had to survive for the sake of my unborn child. She smiled as she said that. I understand how she must have felt. Some have taken to calling me Ms. Left Lobe, she said, because I'll do anything for the mission. As we can see the reason the bridge baby works, to let Sam CBTs is because the baby is from Still Mother which is located in the capital not city ICU, and that she's brain dead. This could be an allusion to the boss being in a coma. We also learn a still mother's womb facilitates the connection between the world of the dead and the baby. And by connecting to the bridge babies you are also able to sense the other world too. If Death Stranding is an elaborate purgatory simulation crafted from the boss's mind, snake or someone else traumatized by the events, it could explain why pregnant mothers being killed or comatose, is the strand connecting MGSV, Death Stranding, and PT. As we know in Silent Hill, the other world is usually fueled by someone's guilt for actions they've done. Could it be what took place in PT, or was all of that another layer to the lie, or brain trauma nightmare of the boss as they fight with VR or being under, remember the brain scan picture in pause menu. Reports suggest he lured her out by telling her it was just a game. The girl was found shot once in the chest from point-blank range. The mother, who he shot in the stomach, was pregnant at the time. If you want to know these answers and explore this theory more, like the video and subscribe to Wetwork Network. This excerpt was taken from an upcoming video I'm working on, but I wanted to get this part out to you ASAP so all the brilliant minds who are playing Kojima's game, can continue to have hope that it will, never be game over. If you're unfamiliar with the connections between Death Stranding and Silent Hill or how Grey Fox experienced Death Stranding, and MGSV is not MGS5, we have videos which will easily catch you up quickly, so check them out in the meantime.